Hello, it's Connie here from Prosperity Finance. I hope you will. Now, you probably read the news that some of the banks has dropped their one-year rates to 2.25% recently. Now, given we haven't talked about interest rate for a little while, I thought today is a good time to have a look what's going on in the interest rate market and what the trend looks like so that if your home loan is coming off fixed term, uh, need to be rolled over, or if you have a new loan uh, that soon to be settled, then this video is going to be really helpful to help you make the right decisions. So firstly, let's look at the interest rate markets. So as mentioned, some of the banks has dropped the interest rate for the one year to 2.25% from 229 So that's really welcome news for people who have home loans, right? Um, now, the 18 months is roughly about 2.49%. On the other hand, uh, some Chinese banks also lower the interest rates. Take Bank of China, for example, their one-year rates is currently sitting around 2.09%, and their two-year rates are around 2.29%. They are generally cheaper than the mainstream banks, because that's one of its strengths. So you can see that the lower end of fixed term are really low interest rate at the moment. And in fact, it's contradict from some of the economists' prediction, you know, a few weeks ago. They were saying that uh, the interest rate is going to go up uh, by early next year. But in fact, banks now dropping the interest rates for the shorter kind of fixed term. Now, I think the recent government policy changes in terms of that uh, housing policy, for example, the interest rate deduction rule, etc., that helps taking out some heat from the housing market. So interest rates um, doesn't has to be increased in order to kind of reduce the heat. Now it's really good time to lock in that low rates and help you, you know, with you know cash flow a bit. Now, in terms of the trend, it's really hard to predict. Now, it's, you know, even economists um, didn't get it right, right? So, with constant changes, like the government policy, like the lending policy changes, and the COVID situation, it's very hard to have some certainty for the near future. But I would say, in my view, the interest rates looks like going to stay low for longer, for the next couple of years. If you don't worry about your household cash flow, um, you don't have much pressure for repaying your debt, then I think having one-year rates is actually a good choice. However, if your loan is relatively large or you just want uh, you know, more certainty, then you can choose to have a portion of your loan, let's say 20 or 30%, to be fixed on a longer-term rate, for example, 18 months or two years so that you have the best of both worlds and you don't have to worry if your entire loan come up fixed term and in case rates do go up you have to suddenly pay much more so it really depends your own situation but even 18 months or two years are very very uh, attractive rates obviously what i said in this video is just general statements and my own opinion I, ha I don't understand your personal situation, so if you really want to get advice in terms of what I think about uh, what you should do, uh, it's best to get in touch with us and um, so we can uh, fully understand your situation, and your plan, and I'll give you the advice tailored to your own situation. Right, I hope you find this video useful and thank you so much for your time to watch this. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.